Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Little Mask. So today I am going to tell you about fractions. So fraction is basically a part of a whole. So let's see and fractions example. So imagine that you have a circle or a pizza. So you divided that into four parts. That can be written as one by four or Q U A T E R quarter. So this word quarter or half and one third you have always listened when you are eating or going outside. These words are being used means I need a half of a chapati, I want a half of the melon, or I want one third of the melon, or I need one by fourth of the or quarter of the pizza. So this is. What is fraction? Now we will see what are the kinds of fractions. So, so the kinds first kind is like fractions. This like word tells us something is everything. Something is same in the fraction. So. Like fraction are fractions which have the denominator same. So here like fractions can you you can learn very easily. So let's see example like three by twenty six, seven by twenty six, eleven by twenty six, etc. etc. So these denominators are same. So I will tell you one more thing that the up which are at the up is called numerator and the down ones are called denominator. And one short key to learn this is that denominator first letter D. D is equal to D for down. So denominator will be down and the rest numerator will be up. So now let's see. Another example of this. So another example would be another type would be unlike fractions. Unlike means it is opposite of the like fractions. So that is a short key of describing this. So now let's see what is unlike fraction. Unlike fraction is very easy. That the unlike fraction where the numerator and the denominator is not same. Only the denominator is not same in the fraction. Means let's see an example like two one by two, three by six, seven by eight. Nine by two, E T C, where the denominators are not same. So here two and two are same means this whole set is not the unlike fraction. So now if we would change the denominator into nine, so the full it the full will be unlike fraction because the whole denominator nothing is same in this except. These two, these two are same, but we will not see at the numerators when we are applying uh, taking which are like and unlike. We have to see the denominators. In like fraction, the denominators are same. In unlike, the they are different. So now let's see another kind. Now we will not put unlike or this unlike and unlike finished. Now let's see another one called proper fractions. Proper fractions, the fractions are proper. Like what we are normally using means one by two and one by two, three by four, 
9 by 11, 6 by 7. Here, these are different. So, these can also be written as unlike fraction. But here, these are proper fractions because they are less than 1. Now, let's see what is the meaning of less than 1. Now, let's take an example of 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2, let's draw in figure. So, here, one figure is there with you. Now, you divided those into two parts here. Denominator means that downer part and then up. Numerator means the part you took. So, we did this in part. This, this, this and you took this part. So, now, this is called 1 by 2. Now, this is less than 1. Whole means 1. Means, when you doesn't divide this in the whole part. Okay. When you doesn't divide this. In this area, the numerator and the denominator should be not same. But, they should be less than this one. Okay. Then these are less than one. So, here, now let's go to another one. Means the opposite of this one. So, we can write this as improper So, this is the opposite of this one. So, this will be also easy to learn. But, these fractions are not really fraction. Fraction can be the part of a whole. But, these are bigger than a part of a whole. So, these are bigger than a whole. So, we can also write this as same uh, to a whole means one whole part can be written as the same denominator and same numerator and the same and they should be more than one or same to one not less than one okay more than one and same to same so here improper fractions can be written as three by two but look this is not possible no you will not say to me that one area is there you did that into two parts and you took three parts how can you took, take three parts means here we would represent this Two, as there are two whole areas and they are divided into two two parts and you took three of them means one whole and another one one by two you took means now how will you represent that that we will learn this after this improper what is the other kind in that we will learn how to change improper to that type so, now 3 by 2. So, now you understood how to represent improper fractions. So, now let's see another kind. Another example can be written as 4 by 1, 6 by 2, 7 by 6. Here, every uh, the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So, you can look 3 is bigger than 2. 4 is bigger than 1, 6 is bigger than 2, 7 is bigger than 6. So now let's see another one which is the biggest among, which is a little bit hard from among these all. So here I will erase this all so that you can see clearly. So here we will also learn how to change in mixed fraction to an in, uh, um, improper fraction to a mixed fraction and mixed fraction to an improper. So, here we'll, uh, you will think the next one is here you will think this is um, this one is mixed fraction only. Here, now you will think that here mixed is written means it is a mixture of all of these. Yes, you are correct. Mixed fraction means one whole part having a fraction having a whole part and a fractional part means let's and here always these are not improper fractions. So here one whole part this we 
area is called one hole. So mixed fraction has two kinds that are here one one by two. So it is having one whole part, whole part and a fractional part. Fractional part. So whole part and fractional part. Here, one is the whole part and other one is the fractional part. So now let's see how will we represent this. So to represent, we will take the same example means one one by two. Here, this is the whole part means it will take a whole part and the other one. Here you will think this can uh, this is improper fraction. No, we are representing this also as improper fraction. So this mixed fraction is a fraction when we change improper fraction to this mixed fraction. So we will learn that little bit later. So now let's see the examples here. One whole part and one by two here. So let's see the examples. Here a mixed fraction should have always, always and proper fraction here, a proper fractional part and one whole part. Uh, let's see another one is 2, 2 by 4, 3, 6 by 2. So, etc here. So, now I will tell you now how to change an improper fraction to a mixed fraction and mixed to improper. Now let's see first. Improper to mix. Improper to mix. So let's see. First take an improper fraction. Means the numerator should be bigger than the denominator. More than 1 or same to same. To 1. So, here 3 by 2 is equal to. Now, how will we do that? We need division in this. So, I will tell you an arrow for shortcut. So, here 2 by 2 divide 3. Here 2 ones are uh, 2 ones are 2 only. So, 2 here minus and then 1. So, now we will take the arrow mark. So, let's take the arrow mark to arrow mark is hair to hair. Look, here this can be represented as the what came the question is our whole part. Question is our whole part. You can also see what is question, what is remainder and what is divisor and dividend. You can see at my video of division. So here 1 will be the whole part. So we will write 1 first and then the remainder. Remainder means it will be up. Remainder should be up. Okay. Now 2 would be down. It is a divisor. So 2 would be down. So now this we got as our mixed fraction. So let's put our mixed fraction here. So this is our answer. So now we will take another example of improper to mixed. Now 6 by 3 now is equal to let's divide it. So here 6 here. And 3 2 is a 6. 3 1 is 3. 3 2 is a 6. Same. So we will write it here. So we will subtract this. Now 6 minus is equals to 0. Now what you would think? That we got the remainder 0. Now we would put this hair to hair. So our whole part would be 2. Now 3. Now 0 up 3. Now look this 0 is up. So now this cannot be represented as a mixed fraction. So this we would 
write is as the whole part only, not this part, fractional part. We would not write, and our answer would be two. But the teacher asked you to write the mixed fraction only in exam, so you could write like this. So normal mixed fraction, and then it equals to two. So like this, you could write the answer. Little bit long. Now let's see mixed to improper. So mixed to improper would be like this. So first we would take a mixed fraction. Two, three by two. So this is mixed fraction. So here one rule is there for this is that first we have to multiply this. I will write it here. Big. So here. We have to multiply the this to this multiplication, and now we would not multiply this to this. We would add these two. So we would add these two. So here two into two is equals to four. Four, and we would put the down as it is. So this denominator as it is now two into two is equals to four. Now four plus two, or this we have to add no. So four plus three, this plus this. What we got here plus this. So four plus three is equals to seven by two. We got an improper fraction. So our answer is seven by two. Now let's take an another example. Is Six is equals to. We will write this. I will write this bigger here. So this into this. We will multiply. Now this plus this. Okay. So here six into four plus two. Now the denominator as it is down. So now we would multiply six into four. Six fours are twenty-four. You can also uh, look at the uh, our table tricks too. Table tricks. Also, I, we made a video, so that would help you in uh, two-digit tables. So now let's see. Six into four is equals to twenty-four plus two by four. I will write the answer here. So twenty four plus two is equals to twenty six by four. So we got our answer twenty six by four. So this is the answer of this one. Mixed to improper. Now you learn. So thank you for watching my video.